David Sackett to me was a larger than life character and was critical to the development of evidence-based medicine and its teaching. He said as people come in your room, they have to leave with their ideas intact. Our job is to improve how they go about answering the questions and the methods they use to improve healthcare. From the word go, we've been working with the medical school here in Oxford. So now we lead across the programme, across the curriculum, the, the undergraduate teaching uh, curriculum and prospectus in evidence-based medicine. The core mission of the centre, in my mind, is to make the results that we have from research evidence useful to people to help save lives. I suppose I identify first and foremost as a patient, and I always think about when I'm talking to my doctor, I absolutely want them to not only be looking at the evidence, but thinking about what it means and how much they trust it. About 60% of healthcare is um, high value and well delivered, but about 30% is either not the right thing to do or um, poorly delivered, and about 10% may even be harmful. And really, for better patient care, we need to take care of that 30 and 10 per cent. Our job is to understand what's the high quality evidence, what's the size of the effect, and what type of evidence applies right now to the decisions for this patient when they present to a setting like a hospital or a primary care centre. Most of this work is driven by actual patients who come to us and talk to us about the issues they're facing. We've had significant impacts in areas like anticoagulation for people with atrial fibrillation, in chronic heart disease, transvaginal mesh, and reducing avoidable harms improves healthcare. Students coming on our programme sometimes do come with research questions already in their head, but they don't have to. They can come with concepts, with experiences, and we work very closely with them to try and turn those concepts and experiences into possible research questions. We had huge impact in the last pandemic in terms of the use of antivirals such as Tamiflu, change government policy, World Health Organization policy. The reason governments come to us is just because we have a unique approach which is just relies on the evidence. Our postgraduate programmes in evidence-based healthcare are for students from all kinds of backgrounds, people working in clinical medicine. We also have students that are working in industry, that are working in the healthcare-related business domain, and even in law. We want to really equip students with the skills to develop their research interests. For us, it is really important also to have that next generation of evidence-based healthcare leaders all over the world in developing these methods and practices. I'm Trevor Trahan. I was a journalist for 14 years and I am now completing the DPhil at Evidence-Based Healthcare. During my studies I've looked at how the media represents medicine and something that the centre is focused on is the public understanding of this. And it's absolutely vital because it has real world impacts. It affects the clinical decisions that people make. And that's why the centre's aims are so important. My time here at Oxford has been life-changing. At the centre I've had time to stop, to reflect and to just change my thinking about the world around us. If you're thinking of applying, do it. Um, we often have self-doubt and don't think that we could ever see ourselves um, in a place like Oxford. Um, but if I can get here, you certainly can. We are so overwhelmed with information and some of it is of really poor quality, so we really need the tools and the skills to understand what is of good quality, what works, and also what doesn't work. I think everyone should be interested in evidence-based medicine. I think we often talk about things like, oh, this is what the patients think. We are all patients. And therefore, to me, evidence-based medicine is something that matters to literally every single person alive. I've never forgotten that threshold that I crossed when I understood what evidence-based medicine was and the importance of it. And now I see the people crossing that threshold almost daily with me. It keeps me inspired to keep that journey going. It's an amazing experience working at the Centre for Evidence-Based Medicine. You are surrounded with like-minded people who share your passion for incorporating evidence into better decision making, to support patients, to support policy making, and we all share a common understanding of the value of that role. When you get messages from patients saying, you know, just thank you for what you've done, 
That's the key and I find that's what drives what I do and how we develop our ethos in the centre. I'm more excited than ever.